Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Monday the 11th of September 2023. I hope you are keeping well and uh, enjoying your life on a Monday. Why not? You should enjoy every day of the week. <laughs> if, you, if you hate Mondays because you have to go to work in a job you don't like, I sympathize with you, but uh, I can't do much about it, I'm afraid. Um, what's going on in the world? Um, I see in the UK, uh, Cancer Research uh, UK, uh, a well-known um, research and charity organization, charitable organization, is um, calling for the government to do more, or the, and the country to do more, uh, to check uh, preventable cancer. Um, and by doing things like reducing or we're actually eliminating smoking and reducing drinking and eating better food and uh, also um, cutting down on UV radiation. Um, so uh, obviously these things are all sensible. They all make sense. We've been told for many years about this problem. Uh, the smoking thing, okay, I think everybody knows that already. Uh, drinking, uh, unfortunately, some people still drink rather too much. Uh, you ought to be careful about the um, levels of alcohol that you consume. Um, and uh, when it comes to food, I'm hearing strange sounds like my cat is in the room. And I don't know why he should be here. <laughs> Excuse me about that. Sorry about that. I was hearing weird noises behind me. Figuring it might be my cat. I can't see him, so he... He could be hiding somewhere. Um, where was I? Oh, yeah. Uh, what I was going to say before I got sidetracked was that one thing that the government could do is to offer free sunscreen. If they want to um, keep down uh, the problem of skin cancer, um, you know, sun cream is incredibly expensive it is outrageously expensive well certainly here in thailand which is a hot country where we have lots and lots of sun it's very very expensive and you know people use it a lot of course here and if it's expensive here i can't believe that it's much cheaper back in the uk so um how about the government offers some free sunscreen to those in need um that would be a good help a good step forward as well wouldn't it uh, perhaps you know put that on the nhs but of course the nhs is suffering from uh <sighs> being hideously underfunded uh, by the tories for the last 13 years and so i don't suppose that that will um be something that they're going to do uh right shall we get on with the game of sudoku because it's monday and that means it's a beginner game of Sudoku. I call it beginner game. The Guardian calls it easy level. So, But this is my opportunity to explain to people who have never played Sudoku before just how to play the game. Right, what do you see? You see a grid with nine rows across, nine columns down, and nine of these squares in small blocks, which I've highlighted in blue. What is the object of the game? You can probably guess before I even tell you, if you've, even if you've never played the game before. But the object of the game is to fill in the missing empty squares, they're not missing squares, empty squares, with digits. And the lowest digit we can place is a 1, and the highest digit we can place is a 9. Why is that? Because there are exactly 9 squares in each row across. There are exactly 9 squares in each column down, and there are exactly 9 squares in each of these smaller 3x3 three three grids. Okay, so that's it. So how does it work? Well, it works um, by, or rather, you need to f complete the puzzle by using logic. Uh, and not mathematics or anything like that. So it's really a very straightforward kind of game. In fact, the game can be played without numbers. And if you want to check out some weird Sudokus, I do have a playlist somewhere on my channel which does not use digits. It uses other things food for example uh, which was something i'm never going to repeat but i did play a game once where i put items of food uh, on a grid and then um tried to uh, play the game in that way and not something i'm ever going to do again anyway uh so how do we go about finding okay so let's see 
in this block up here we have one, two, three, four, five empty squares and we have three squares with digits already in them. Now because we already have four, five and nine that means we don't need these digits four, five and nine in this block here. I call it a block, right? Uh, what we definitely don't have yet is a digit one, right? So let's highlight some ones. Now if you're playing on the computer this is easy if you click on a digit one if you're on the sudoku exchange.com website and you've transferred the digits over when you click on the one you can you, all of the ones are highlighted so that makes it a bit easier to see right now we have this one here in this row so one cannot reappear in this row okay we already have a one in this row so we can't have another one because there are only nine squares we have one in this square here and this row again is forbidden from having any ones in it. We have a one down here which blocks this column here and we have a one here which blocks this column here. All right? So you can see this one, this one, this one and this one here block all of these squares from being one. Okay and now in the top here you can see there is only one white square available for us that's not highlighted in blue and so we know that that's the empty square where our digit one must go. Um, nothing else can go in there. Uh, let's try this block again and this time we're going to look for a digit 7. Okay, so we'll do this again. We've got 7 blocking across here and we've got 7 blocking across here and we've got 7 blocking up here. When I say blocking, I mean stopping any other 7s from appearing. And so now we can see that the 7 must appear in that square there. Okay, do you get the hang of it? Because that's all there is to the game really. It's a very simple idea and sometimes very simple in practice and sometimes incredibly difficult in practice uh, the games are marked in levels usually and so you can start with the easy ones until you get your feet find your feet and then you can uh, work your way up to the medium levels and the harder levels and then go beyond this channel if you are really good at sudoku and go up to the incredibly difficult um, puzzles that you can find on the internet sometimes right we have eight blocking up here eight blocking up here that's going to put an eight in that square there and now we have our two blocking up here and so we can find a two here uh, there we have a six blocking across here like this so we're going to put a six there and now there is only a three left because we have everything else in this block except for three and so we know that the three goes there Okay, so that's how to... Uh, now, we don't always get lucky and manage to complete a single block uh, in one go like that. Sometimes we get lucky, sometimes we don't. Uh, today we did. Now we can take the three blocking across here like this, and the three up here, and the three up there, and that's going to give us a three in that square there. Um, how do I know where to look? Well, I just have to, you know, use my eyes to run up and down the columns and in and out and around the blocks. Okay, work just came in. Good. Uh, something for me to do today. Otherwise, I should be bored out of my skull and forced to play Sudoku. Um, uh, what was I saying? Yes, use your eyes to go up and down and across, etc. So let's see we can see nines blocking down here like this and nine across there that's going to put nine in that square there now I see there are only two empty squares here. normally it's worthwhile when you get just get one or two empty two empty squares if you see one empty square in a row column or block you can know you can know what it is immediately you do know what it is immediately uh, but let's see here we have two empty squares here so what are we missing we've got one we've got two we don't have three we've got four five we don't have six anywhere so we know that these two squares must be three and six to complete the columns here right now what you could do is you could say this six means that nothing else here can be six right in this block so this can't be six so that must be six or you could say six blocks up here and that's going to put the six there you will find that there are many ways to find the uh, Game, the um, game of Sudoku digits. Now at the end here, as I said, there's just one empty square, so we know that's going to be a three because we have everything else here. We also have a three blocking across here. So we'll put a three there. If any of this seems to be fast to you, just go back, watch it again, try again. 
and uh, and you will get it i promise you it's not that tricky five is the last number here now down this column look we have one empty square we just have to look up and see what's missing we don't have a two so that must be our two for this column okay now when you see three empty squares like this good idea to see what's missing what we don't have is four uh we don't have five and we don't have seven. So when we look we look across here to see if we've got any of those, we've got a four, but we don't know anything about the five and the seven yet. So we'll just forget that for now because it wasn't very uh, useful or very helpful just yet. Um, so what will be useful or helpful? Uh, this two over here blocking up there and the two blocking up there and the two across there which means that there will be a 2 in this square here. Uh, like I say, if you see two empty squares like this, probably check and see what they are in case we can get it. Uh, what's missing across here? Well, we don't have 3 and we don't have 4. So yes, we can do something here, right? Do you see? So we have either this 3 here or this 3 here, both of them block this square and say, no, sorry, you can't be a three. So this must be our three over here. And this is our four in this square. Now we'll take that four that we just put in blo blocking down, four blocking up here. That's going to give us a four there, four across here and four across here. You see how we're using the numbers that we just placed to help us? Um, that's a good thing to do, a useful thing to do. will often help you out. Uh, down here we have two empty squares again. What are they? They are 1 and 8. Um, does it help? Do we know any... One, can we see any 1s or 8s up here that help us? No, we can't. So it doesn't help for the moment, but we'll try to keep that in mind for later. Okay. Uh, now, where to look now? This is always the tricky thing for game of Sudoku is deciding where we should go next. There are just three empty squares in this row so let's see what's missing here. We don't have two, uh, we don't have seven and we don't have nine. Two, seven and nine are missing in this this row here and two, seven and nine must go in these three squares. Now this is good because it gives me a chance to show you something. Look at this square here and remember two seven nine in these three squares so this square here can it be two answer double no because we've got a couple of twos that say no way can you be two can you be seven maybe can you be nine no you can't be nine because we've got a nine blocking you here so we now know it's not two and it's not nine it has to be seven and that means that we now have two and nine over here but we can't get the two and nine yet um, but we'll look later on what we will do is have remember we said that this was one and eight so we've got quite a few um, digits here already we know this is one and eight we know this is two and nine um, so that means that these two squares must be the other numbers now this is quite a lot to remember especially if you're a beginner I mean even for people not beginners it's quite a lot to remember so I'll say it again one and eight are in these squares um, 2 and 9 are in these squares. So what must appear in these squares here? Well, one of the missing numbers has to be 7 because we don't have 7 yet. Right? So uh, we can see that 7 blocks here like this. So we know that 7 is going to be in this square. Now you could do it like this. 7 across here, 7 across here, and 7 down here, which give you 7 in that square there. Like I say, often more than one way to find the answer. Now we can get this missing number because we already know what must be in these four squares or we could look across here and we can say we are limited to three particular numbers here and so we can find this right let's do it this way what are we missing here in these squares we must have uh, three eight and nine let's see if we can get those we've got a three up here we've got a nine here eight nope don't know but we know this is three eight and nine and so when we look across here, we've got one, two, three is somewhere here, four, 
five anywhere? No, no five. Okay, so we know this is going to be a five. Or again, or you could say five across here and five across here will give me the five there. So multiple ways to find the answer. Um, right, where to now? It's not the sound of my cat rustling something. What on earth could it be? A cockroach or something? <laughs> it could be. There could be a cockroach rattling. We do sometimes get them here in Thailand. Uh, it's a hot country, difficult to avoid. Um, there could be a cockroach in the room somewhere. I'm hoping it's not. I hate the things, but um, <laughs> anyway, I'll find out soon enough, I guess. Right, uh, now uh, now that I've uh, given myself the willies, uh, what should I do next? Uh, well, I'm not sure. And so if I'm not sure like this, the next thing is normally to click on the digits and see if I can spot any patterns like that. If you're playing on the computer, it's not cheating. But it is certainly a helpful thing if you're playing on pencil and paper, which I recommend if you're a beginner, till you get the hang of the game. Uh, it's often, um, uh, you can't do that, of course, but um, so it makes it slightly more difficult. Here we go. Three blocking across here, three blocking across here, and three down here will give us three in this square. Now, three up here and three down here means that we can place our three there. Nine blocks this square here. We know that this is our nine, and then an eight will finish here. Uh, we don't have five in this column yet, but we can see a five here, so this can't be five. It has to be down here. And when we look for the last uh, number to be placed here, we're going to find it's a six. So we'll put that in now. Um... Okay, we have six blocking down here and down here, which will give us, and six across here, which will give us a six in this square. Six across here and six down here means that that is a six there. And six is now finished. There aren't any more of them on the grid. We've got six in every row, every column, and every block. So there are no more to be found. There are two empty squares here. The missing numbers in this row are five and seven. We can see our seven here blocking that square. So we know that seven has to be here and the five has to be there. Five blocks all the way up here and across here, which will give us five there. Five blocks across here, which will give us five in that square. And the last square to be found here is a four. Four blocks across here, giving us four in this square. Four blocking up here will give us four in that square. And that was the final digit, four. Uh, now, there's only one number missing down here. What is it? Um, I think it's an eight. So we'll put the eight in. And then the missing number here is a seven. Seven then blocks across here. And seven down here will give us the seven in that square. Now, in this row, we're just missing one number. All we need to find, all we need to place is the eight. The eight blocks up here and eight blocks across here will give us an eight here. We need a one in this row here. I, rem I, I found that quickly because I remembered from before we had one and eight in these two squares. So I didn't have to go searching. One blocks down here, that gives me a one in this square. And the missing number here is a two. Now there's only one empty square here. What do we fill it with? Um, we fill it with an eight and now the eight blocks across here that gives me an eight up there and the missing number here is a nine nine blocks here that puts a nine into that square nine blocks down here giving us nine here you see we're almost done now almost home and dry we just need a two for this column or this block and we still need a two to finish off the grid so you'll notice the missing digit across this row across this uh, down this column and in this block it's the same thing we still need a two so that's our beginner level game uh, from the guardian every monday um, 
um, feel free to check out past games on a Monday. There is a playlist. If you go to the playlist section, you'll find a playlist of easy games on this channel. Bye-bye.